Hi to everybody. Today we will discuss about TTL NOR gates. The schematic of TTL NOR gate is shown in the figure. The, so, the total circuit divided into the three stages. In that first one is input protection stage. Second one is phase shifter. Third one is output stage. Input protection stage protects the circuit from environment effects like a sudden power supplies, temperature variations like that we can protect the circuits. Phase shifter shift the phases based on our inputs either 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. The output stage conduct either low state or high state. Q4 will be on means we can go for high states and Q5 will be on means the output become to zero state. So this is the uh, three stage uh, function. Now we can go for a working principle of uh, TTL NOR gate. The, what is the NOR, NOR gate two table is? Uh, so both inputs are zero, output become to one. Remaining all conditions output become to zero. So now we can verify the x equal to zero, y equal to zero. So first of all, what is the diode function? So whenever anode voltage is greater than the cathode, then the diode will be forward biased. When cathode voltage is less than anode, so the diode will be forward biased. Cathode voltage is greater than the anode, the diode will be reverse biased. So here you can use the Scott key transistors and Scott key diodes in order to, uh, to reduce the saturation delay. So in order to increase the fast operation, we can use the Scott key transistors. So now you can go for uh, working principle. So x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So diode D1x and D1y both will be forward bias because of VCC directly connected to the anode and cathode connected to the inputs. Inputs is 0. So now anode is greater than the cathode. That's why both D1x and D2, sorry, D1y both will be on condition. So at the same time x equal to 0, D2x and D2y also will be on because of so x, x and y will be 0, the anode is connected to the ground. So compared to the uh, cathode anode is somewhat uh, uh, higher. So that's why D2x and D2y also will be forward biased. So whatever total voltage available at the <coughs> diode D1x and D2y, so all will be going to the grounded. So the uh, base of Q2x is 0 and Q2y also 0. In the sense VAX and VAY shown in the figure. So here VAX and VAY is 0. So the phase shifter will go to the <coughs> off states. So second set. So the base of Q2X and uh, Q2Y will be 0. So at the time the phase shifter become to 0. So at the same time uh, Q3 base will be 5 volts connected to the through VCC. So Q3 will be 5 volts base it will be on. So Q3 mean on means at the same way Q4 will be on. So at the same time uh, Q6 and Q5 will be off condition because of uh, Q2Y and Q2X will be off. So there is uh, there, there is no voltage is uh, uh, forward to the base of Q5 and Q6. So these are the two off. Only pull up is nothing but a Q4 and Q3 will be on condition. The output become to high whenever input is 0, 0. So di di uh, and diode D3 and D4 will be used for uh, for uh, biasing purpose and uh, unwanted leakage current will be nullified by using this uh, diode D3 and D4. This is the one condition. Next, suppose we can go for uh, both inputs are high. X equal to 1, Y equal to 1. What is the output? So, in general, uh, output become to 0. So, both 1, 1 means uh, diodes 2 will be reverse bias. D1X and D2Y and dx2, d1y, so all four diodes will be coming to the uh, reverse bias. Reverse bias means VCC goes to the Q2x and Q2y. The base of Q2x and Q2y will be 5 volts. Both will be on. And at the same time, uh, the base of Q5 and Q6 will be 5 volts available coming from the Q2y and Q2x. The Q6, Q5 also will be on. So the VCC directly goes to from uh, VCC to ground path existed from the Q2, Q2 X to Q6. The output become to 0. So because of uh, the base of Q3 will be 0. So at the same time uh, uh, Q3 and Q4 will be off condition. So output become to 0. So this is the as is. Next remaining conditions uh, similarly same way. So uh, one of the uh, X equal to 1 another one is uh, y equal to 0 so at the time also so you can get the output become to 0 
so x equal to 1 y equal to 0 at the time also output will come to 0 because of x equal to 0 means one diode will be on one diode will be off so one even though one of the diode will be on the total uh, grounded the voltage so like that we can go for output become to zero so this is the uh, working principle of uh, nor gates it is one of the important uh, uh, topic for uh, university examinations uh, thank you one and all